Hi everybody, it's me, Sailor Moon, and it's me, Sailor Jupiter here. And today we're going to talk about, did we rip off the Power Rangers? Now I know we made this video many times before, but there's always going to be those who wonder which one came first and which one borrow stuff from the other and was some of it coincidence now some people out there are going to claim that Power Rangers came out first and Sailor Moon came out second the truth is that Sailor Moon came out in 1992 one year before the Power Rangers would eventually come out even though Super Sentai have been going on since 1975-80 to present. Now, during that time, there wasn't really two, there was, wasn't, there was some superhero team animated series, maybe some live action series, I don't really think. But prior to that point, anime was still kind of unknown to some people. Now, Regardless of that, our show came out first, and yes, our show does follow does follow some of the formula that Super Sentai or Power Rangers follows. First off, yes, we do have monsters of the week that we am up facing and defeating. Yes, we can transform or morph. Now, get this out of the way. Unlike in Power Rangers, where the monster gets big and they have to use a Megazord to fight the monster and defeat the monster at the end of the, ep at the during the end of the episode that rarely ever happens to us except yes there was a time where Emerald got turned into a dragon and we had to face her but that was rare most of the time the monsters were defeated and then come back in a big form now because me and now because the Power Rangers and our show had some of that similar, some of that formula going on, like fighting monsters at a week and morphing and transforming, might lead some people to believe that one show was basing off the other, or one show had ripped off the other. Knuckle Take a Chi, uh, growing up, was a big, probably I don't know, was a big fan of Super Sentai, and tried to make a female version of it, you know, but tried her best to make a female version of Super Sentai but you know adapting some things here and there like instead of morphing it was transforming for example and the monsters of the week once they were defeated they didn't grow big now can I you want <clears throat> now you want to say some stuff now Sail Jupiter sure Sailman point going is that since Knuckle Takeuchi uh, adapted Sailor Moon, based it off from Super Sentai, adapted it from Super Sentai, Han Siobhan adapted the Power Rangers from Super Sentai. And during Siobhan's first era, they used stock footage and they used master costumes and stuff, based it off of Toei and the Super Sentai stuff. Now, there are going to be some similarities. Yes, Queen Beryl and Rita Repulsa both put a spell on Tuxedo Mass and the Green Ranger. Yes, the Green Ranger does come out and do a lot of rescuing of the Pink Ranger, like Tuxedo Max does for Sailor Moon. But I think that was just a lot of, I think that was just coincidence, or that was just because, um, that was just because, I don't know. It had to be coincidence because Knuckle Takeuchi and Han Chivalon did not copy off of each other. One did not rip off the other. And of course, I don't think neither of them did any of that. I think that's, I think what happened was is that there w it was some borrowing. It was just probably a coincidence that those two things happened to have happened. Like, since Power Rangers was based it off of Super Sentai, they had to use the Green Ranger storyline in it. Just like, for example, Tuxedo Mask gets brainwashed in Sailor Moon, so of course that was going to happen. But I think it was probably just a coincidence that 
that happened that what happened to the Green Ranger and Tuxedo Mask. And yeah, we do fight monsters at a week, just like the Power Rangers do, and we do morphing, we transform like they morph, of course, you know. But both shows are very similar, but very different in certain areas. Number one, there are not really too many new teams of, of the Sailor Soldiers. Yes, Uranus, Neptune, and Saturn show up eventually, and do join from time to time and the third season and Sailor Mini Moon does show up in the third season as a Sailor Soldier into the fourth season but there wasn't really too many new additions yeah the Sailor Starlight show up in the fifth season of course but the point goes pretty much stayed the same there wasn't really too many um changing of teams yes villains did change Sailor Moon and the Power Rangers have that in common you want to finish it off Sure, I think there was a lot of similarities, maybe some coincidences, but I don't think Sailor Moon ripped off the Power Rangers, or Power Rangers ripped off Sailor Moon. I don't think Han Siobhan or Nako Takechi copied off of each other. I don't think so. I'm Sailor Moon, I'm Sailor Jupiter, see you later.